Alrighty folks, in this video we're going to talk about what makes some of these compounds that we discussed in the last video, specifically minerals, right? Not everything gets to be a mineral. Uh, you have to re meet certain requirements to be called a mineral, right? Uh, first off, to be a mineral, a substance must be naturally occurring, right? Oops. It's like this fluorite here, some beautiful fluorite, right? And the idea behind this is, uh, you know, we don't want uh, man-made stuff in there called being called minerals, right? And actually, a lot of this goes to gemology. Uh, say you go to the store to buy a, a diamond ring, right? Uh, you don't want to pay, you know, real diamond prices for something like cubic zirconia or, you know, man-made diamonds, just not worth nearly as much right so it has to be natural right occurring naturally if it's not it doesn't occur naturally it's not a mineral if it's not a mineral it can't be called a gemstone legally really um anyway uh, it must be inorganic and by inorganic i mean no carbon and hydrogen bonds that's organic chemistry we're not dealing with organic chemistry here we're dealing with inorganic chemistry so naturally occurring inorganic no ch bonds right it must also be a solid right as we see from these ice cubes here all these ice cubes made in your freezer right because they did not naturally occur they would not be a mineral all right minerals must also possess an orderly internal structure right so they must be crystalline which is also why there must be a solid, right? And they have a definite chemical composition that can vary, but within specified limits, right? So here's some beautiful rhodochrosite, rhodochrosite, sorry, um, showing you this, this beautiful ordered internal structure, right? Uh, and specific chemical composition, like our friend table salt, right? N-A-C-L, we've used him as an example before. But of course, table salt being, you know, manufactured, right, would be not a mineral, right? Unless, of course, you get your big chunks of pink Himalayan sea salt, right? And finally, a mineral must be homogeneous, by, um, by which I mean the chemistry is fairly consistent throughout, right? So here is one mineral, right? It's one mineral crystal. Here's another mineral crystal. Here's another mineral crystal, right? Together, right, minerals make up rocks. So rocks can be made of either a single mineral but many many crystals of it right like we see here right? uh, it can be made up of multiple minerals like we see here in this piece of granite right little black spots little gray spots and the white spots are all different minerals right uh, or rocks can be even made of other rocks and of course the rocks in here are then made up of, of minerals right so minerals are the basis for rocks right so let us summarize right to be considered a mineral, a substance or a compound must be naturally occurring, right? Not man-made. It must be inorganic, no carbon hydrogen bonds. We're not doing organic chemistry here, right? It must be homogeneous, which means, you know, kind of similar chemistry throughout. It must be a solid because it must possess an orderly internal structure, right? And it's going to have a defined chemical composition, right? Chemical formula that can vary within specified limits. It can include, you know, some impurities and such like that, right? So let's take a look at some of these, right? Mineral or not, cubic zirconia, cubic zirconia here, fake diamond, mineral or not, not a mineral because it's man-made, right? Does it have an orderly internal structure? Yes, right? But it is man-made. Coal, Coal is an interesting one. Coal is an organ, a bunch of dead, squished plants stuck together, right, and uh, and uh, and compressed into a rock. Now that would not be a mineral because it is organic, right? Oil, not a mineral because it is a liquid. Right? Volcanic glass is actually not a mineral we're learning in the next chapter it's just frozen elements in space and time the uh the elements didn't have time to get together and make minerals before this stuff froze solid it's just frozen liquid lava basically marble marble is not a mineral it is a rock made up of a mineral called calcite gold 
is gold is a mineral. Gold is an element, but is also a mineral. Ice. Ah, now we must qualify this statement, right? So are you talking ice on a lake or ice in your freezer? Because the answer is different. Ice on a lake is a mineral because it is naturally occurring. Ice in your freezer is not because you made it, right? I know it seems like a kind of a you know superfluous difference, but uh, you know it's uh, again you don't want to pay real diamond prices for cubic zirconia, right? Some minerals like gold, uh, copper, sulfur. These minerals can exist as just themselves. So you can you know we can get gold compounds, but we can also get just pure gold, right? If they exist as just themselves, the mineral exists as just itself. You know all of this is just the gold atoms in here, right? That is called a native element. Right? All right, folks, we'll see you next time.